All right, I've got an updated set of predictions for you about the coming midterm elections, 2018 midterms. Thanks for joining me. Mike Adams here, the publisher of NewsTarget.com and Trump.News. Now, in my previous predictions from a few weeks ago, oh, and by the way, I'm recording this during the first week of October. In my previous predictions, I said that it looked like the Democrats could gain 40 to 45 seats in the House, which would, of course, give Democrats the majority there. But that has changed. My current prediction is that the Democrats may only gain about 20 seats. Now, if they only gain 20, then the House would stay with the Republicans. If they gain you know, 25, then the Democrats take the majority in the House. So it really comes down to that number between 20 and and 25. And right now, to me, it looks like a toss up. So it looks like a, I would say a 50, 50 chance that the Republicans keep the house or, or, or lose the house 50, 50 right now, but things are trending, trending strongly in favor of Republicans. And if, if things continue, and what I mean by that is the attacks on Brett Kavanaugh are backfiring on the Democrats. In fact, this massive coordinated smearing and slandering of Kavanaugh is, I think, motivating conservatives to go to the polls and vote on election day. And it's making them very, very angry that the left believes that it can interfere with Supreme Court picks by rolling out coordinated slanders and smears and lies, which is what they always do. And frankly, the American people are sick of it. And the backlash against Democrats just continues to grow. So depending on what happens with Kavanaugh, and as of right now, as I'm recording this, the FBI has not yet wrapped up its investigation, but is supposed to today. If Kavanaugh is dragged through more nonsense for for another week, it would actually, I think, work to motivate even more conservatives to come out and vote. So The Democrats should hope that this Kavanaugh business is over quickly because every day that they keep attacking Kavanaugh is a day that more Republicans are telling themselves they will go to the polls and vote against the Democrats. Now, about Kavanaugh himself, my current prediction is up 10 points to an 80% chance that Kavanaugh gets confirmed. My previous prediction was 70% chance. That has risen to 80% based on the fact that now old an old boyfriend of what's her name Christine Ford has come out and under penalty of perjury he has issued a statement to the United States Senate that contradicts many of the key claims that Christine Ford made in her Senate testimony specifically about polygraph tests and fear of flying and it looks like Christine Ford may have perjured herself and it looks like she is a dishonest liar and that it was a series of coordinated lies involving the media, Dianne Feinstein's office, and so on, in order to try to destroy Brett Kavanaugh. But it's falling apart rapidly. And as it's falling apart, the, the odds of the confirmation of Kavanaugh continue to rise. So right now I'm putting it at 80% chance that he gets confirmed before the midterm elections. Now what effect will that have on the elections, you might ask? I think that confirming Brett Kavanaugh will cause an increase in voter turnout on both sides of the aisle. And I think it's a wash. In other words, I think Brett Kavanaugh being confirmed will not change the outcome of the midterm elections. However, him getting confirmed will allow President Trump to more aggressively pursue the release of documents, FISA warrant documents, FBI documents from Peter Strzok, Lisa Page, and so on that could be huge game changers, that if those come out even a week before the election, they could be such bombshells that many middle-of-the-road people who are currently planning to vote Democrat could change, just change their minds and say, I'm not going to support the Democrats any longer after seeing these documents. So that could be happening. In other words, the confirmation of Brett Kavanaugh could have an indirect effect on the election that I think could work in favor of Republicans. There's also this idea that many leftists say that if Kavanaugh gets confirmed, they're going to go ballistic. They're going to have a million-person march on Washington to try to 
physically block the confirmation. I don't know. I don't know what they're trying. Uh, they're going. They're going to go insane. There's going to be marches and probably violence and probably arson and perhaps some some more bombings and attempted assassinations of conservative senators. We've already seen radical leftists mailing apparent anthrax powder to Ted Cruz's office, and they've mailed poison ricin to the Pentagon and and to President Trump. There have been attacks. Uh, Mitch McConnell was harassed by an angry left-wing mob at the airport, for example. All of this is going to increase dramatically if Kavanaugh gets confirmed. The left is going to go totally insane. They're going to lose it. I mean, they've already lost it, but they're going to up the ante on their insanity. And as that happens, that works against the Democrats. Because normal Americans, just normal people, see that and go, whoa, these Democrats are insane. And they are insane. And a lot of people who used to be Democrats are walking away from the Democrat Party. They're realizing that, gosh, I can't be associated with that. That, that level of insanity and violence and lawlessness and just, just stupidity is just intolerable. Have you ever heard a leftist try to debate? They're incapable of it. They don't have any logical ideas. They can't elucidate any thoughts at all. They, they are mindless. They're emotional and they can spit out certain words and they can, they can condemn and blame and they can call everybody a Nazi or a rapist, but none of it makes any sense. It's just like a, this mad blabbing of nonsense. It's just word salad, basically. They, they have no reason. They have no rationality. It's like that whole portion of their brain has been burned out. They're kind of like zombies at this point. And in the zombie movies, the zombies normally can't speak, but might be getting close to that. I wonder if Democrats, if they continue down the road of insanity anymore, if, if there'll be a day where they just can't even speak. <laughs> they just, just start slobbering and drooling and, and attacking. And that's, that's your zombie right there. They're pretty much there already. They, can, they can't speak in logical terms anymore. So normal, reasonable, rational people who used to be Democrats are leaving the Democrat Party. And they are walking away. And they may not all vote for conservatives, but they're certainly not going to vote for Democrats. So that's, that's taking votes away from the Democrats. And that's a big deal. That will hurt the Democrat Party substantially in the election. So, in other words, what I'm saying is, if Kavanaugh gets confirmed and the left runs these insane, deranged, I don't know, civil unrest, riots and such, they're just going to lose even more votes. And then if they lose the midterms, i.e., they could still, the Democrats can still take up to, you know, 20 seats. Maybe the, maybe the answer is 21 or 22. Forgot the exact number, but they could, they could win 20 seats and still not take the House. But if they don't take the House and they realize that after the midterms that Republicans still control the Senate and the House and the White House and the Supreme Court, then these deranged lunatic leftists who are now basically synonymous with domestic terrorists, they are going to activate every insane terror cell that they've got. They're going to pull out all the stops. They're going to launch bombs, you know, fire bombs, and mass poisoning attempts, and mass riots, and executions in the streets. They're going to burn the American flag and burn their own cities. They're going to drag conservatives out of their homes and beat them over the head with pipes. I mean, they're going to do everything every violent thing, because in their minds, they've lost every hope of working through the political system at that point, because they're being marginalized, because normal people are rejecting them, because Democrats are insane. So they will turn to radical fringe extremism, as has already begun, by the way. Now, if that scenario unfolds, this is what I'm predicting will lead to eventually martial law, because Trump will be forced to declare certain kinds of martial law in cities across America. And as I've famously said, you will beg for it. You will beg for martial law because you'll want to stop the violence too. You'll want to stop your own city from burning down. You'll want to stop the blood in the streets. You'll beg for martial law and Trump will initiate martial law, which will give him, by the way, the cover that he needs politically to bring in military police to arrest deep state operatives all across America, hundreds of them, maybe thousands, who knows, but probably a few hundred 
people like James Comey, people like Peter Strzok, who have been deep state traitors, who've been waging an actual deep state war, acts of, of treason and sedition to undermine America, to overthrow the United States government. That's what they've been doing. And during this chaos caused by the Democrats, Trump will have the political cover that he needs to wage the mass arrests and, and arrests and prosecutions, indictments, and so on of all of these deep state traitors. So isn't this fascinating how the left will actually commit suicide? The more the left comes out and wages these protests, the more votes it loses. And the more it loses votes, the more insane the left becomes. And the more insane the left becomes, the more we have a national emergency that gives Trump the power under national emergencies and war powers acts to, to go out and arrest the deep state traitors who have tried to overthrow this country. It all plays into President Trump's hands. And that's what the left doesn't yet realize. They think somehow they've convinced themselves they're winning by mobbing senators and being deranged, violent lunatics. They think they're winning. And when it comes to them actually losing, they're going to go ballistic, just absolutely ballistic. Now, in what happens if they win the House? And that's a possibility, too. Right now, I give that a 50% chance. If they win the House, then we're in for a very, very uh, high turbulence era. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Stay informed. Read naturalnews.com and trump.news. This is Mike Adams here. Stay safe. Some very turbulent times are straight ahead. Take care. Learn more at healthrangerreport.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.